Hey everyone, we are here at one of our camps in St. Pete Beach, Florida. We're going to have a quick demo today about some shot placement, working on a lot of cut shots, some high lines, making sure we're really finishing with our hands high, not trying to bring the ball down at all. Making sure that our shoulders are really facing into that hard angle so we're able to hold our defender and then shoot high out of that. All right, so today's morning session, we are gonna talk a lot about shot placement. So we're gonna mostly focus on our high line shot and our cut shot. Whenever I'm making a shot, I always wanna to try to trick the defender into thinking that I'm gonna swing hard. So my approach and everything should look the exact same regardless of whether I'm gonna shoot or if I'm gonna swing. So just a quick review of our approach. We wanna make sure that we're taking a nice, slow first step a slightly faster, larger second step, and then I'm really getting a nice aggressive last two steps, and every single time I'm getting to this Nike swoosh position, okay, this, um, this bow and arrow kind of position here. Okay, if I come in and I come in slow and I have my elbow up here, now my defender on the other side knows that I'm gonna shoot the ball, they can be a lot more relaxed. So we wanna make sure that if I'm swinging here, I'm selling everything to this angle, Okay, this defender thinks I'm gonna blow him up right here, and instead I'm just finishing and I'm leaving my hand high wherever I go. Okay, when I'm shooting the ball, I don't need to go from here and bring my hand down. All I'm doing is I'm staying nice and high the whole time, and then my finish is just left up here. Okay, it's like I'm shooting a basketball, right? When I'm shooting a basketball, I don't go down, okay? My hand doesn't bring the ball down, my hand's on the bottom of the ball, and I finish up. Okay, so my elbow's back, and then I'm finishing with my hand high. Okay, we emphasized a lot the other day about making sure that our shoulders, if I'm right-handed on this left side, when we talked about approaches, making sure that our shoulders were pointed to this angle. So now when I hit my high line shot, I'm not gonna rotate to this line. I'm gonna stay everything holding the defender here, and then I'm just finishing my wrist, thumb up into this line. Okay, I need to have a little bit of arc and trajectory onto this ball because I need this ball to A, either go over a blocker that's standing here, or if my blocker peels, I need to have a ball with enough trajectory that it's gonna go over the defender into this corner. If I go super flat with this shot, this defender is gonna be able to pick this ball up. So I need to make sure that if I'm going for a high line, that I'm contacting under the ball and then finishing high. Nice. Everybody did two claps for that. Nice, good. Notice how when I hit that shot, okay, I didn't start fast and then slow down my arm. My arm still sped up like I was gonna swing. I just left my hand up here instead of bringing the ball down with a full swing. A lot of us when we shoot have a tendency to get here, and then we're, oh, we're shooting, I'm just gonna go really slow through the ball. And that's when you'll miss contact a lot. Okay, if you notice there, I was just kind of trying to guide the ball to a spot. I still wanna have this snap motion to my arm. Okay, now though, instead of snapping the ball out, I'm just contacting under the ball and finishing my hand high. Okay, it's the same thing for a cut shot. If I'm hitting a cut shot, my shoulders should be staying into this angle. I'm reaching high and I'm finishing fast through the ball. No claps for that one, okay? <laughs> but again, notice how I'm not slowing my arm down as I contact the ball. I'm speeding up through it and still finishing with kind of this whip motion to my arm, okay? So I'm here, fast through the ball. Okay, one thing that people, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. One issue a lot of people have when they try to shoot a shot is they try to be super overly deceptive. Okay, if I'm hitting a cut shot from this left side, I don't need to try to fake my defender into thinking I'm swinging down the line and then try to do this motion. Okay, a lot of us have this tendency to kind of over rotate and then finish here. Again, I'm just trying to hold my defender in the angle and then from here, I can either snap here or I can snap down the line. Okay, so it should never feel like I'm pushing away from my body. Everything's still coming here 
and I'm coming through high and I'm staying skinny within my shoulder line, I'm not getting my arm out here and pushing at all. Okay? So for our drills, uh, where's DJ? Evan, you wanna to go to show the, the opposite direction here? So our first drill, we will have three people. Uh, let's see, Mark, can you catch in that corner? Perfect. Yep, so all we're gonna do is we are gonna have a tosser, so Mark needs the ball. A tosser, a passer slash attacker, and then a setter. Our tosser is gonna toss, pass, and DJ is gonna snap a nice high line. Perfect, toss again. Notice when Evan hits this shot where his shoulders are facing. Beautiful. So notice when Evan, okay, again, this would be all of my right-handed players. When we're hitting on the right side, we would be watching Evan, okay? So when Evan's attacking this ball, he's still keeping his shoulders to the middle of the court, right? Because he's left-handed, he's coming across the body. Evan's not turning way over to this direction and then trying to finish with a push, right? So for me, if I'm right-handed, after I pass, I kick in, I start my approach, and I'm keeping my shoulder line facing the middle of the court here. So it's just a nice, easy turn of my wrist. It's not a big push with my arm. Okay, let's see one more, DJ. And snap the high line, good. Notice where DJ's shoulders finish there, right? DJ does a really nice job of leaving his shoulders into this angle and just finishing with the high line. It's almost like a, kind of like a look away pass. Right? He doesn't need to see where it lands because he already knows where it's going to land. A lot of times if I rotate with this ball, that's when I end up missing this ball wide because my shoulders are turning the ball and my hand is turning the ball. Okay, um, Let's go with a couple cut shots here. Notice it stays neutral. That's a nice cut shot. Beautiful. Notice how his shoulders stay open. Good shot. Speed up. Good, notice how fast Evan's arm comes through this ball, right? He's not slowing down to make this shot. He's just speeding up and then leaving his hand high, okay? Um, our second drill, we're gonna do a little bit something competitive, okay? Uh, coaches, depending on uh, the, the level on your court, okay, we can obviously change what the shots are but I'm going to make some boxes around the court. Okay, so if I make, we're gonna make this really difficult on them. Yeah, I'm gonna make some boxes in each corner and in the cut shot. <laughs> Perfect. So you'll potentially have your coaches setting you for this drill, okay, or you'll be setting each other. All right, so uh, we're just gonna go alternating back and forth and in uh, our actual drill version, it would be the first side, okay, to hit all four spots is gonna win this drill. Okay, let's go to two points here. First person to get two. I'm setting, I'm setting, yeah. Good, so that would be not one for Evan. Toss in. Good, that would be one for DJ. Good. Good still for the win for DJ. Oh, Evan to match, here we go. Who we got here? Ponies for the tie. DJ for the win again. Oh, just out. Somebody finish us. Last one, no matter what. Oh, and nobody wants to win. All right, so this is a really fun drill, as you guys can see. Okay, And again, we'll kind of be split into two definite teams. It'll be a bit competitive. Um, we're going to hit all four corners or coaches if you want to draw some uh, like outer boundary lines as well. Just trying to shoot balls to the sideline and keep everything out of the middle of the court. Hey, guys, hope you learned something during today's demo. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments. Make sure you subscribe, like this video for a lot more content like this from Better at Beach.